remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? There is absolutely no doubt that America's community police relationship could be a whole lot better. A number of cops tend to routinely stretch their authority. They believe they're above the law. They don't have to be respectful. They have very bad communication skills. On the other side of that coin are citizens who have bad communication skills. And so, being a citizen, I thought it my duty to perhaps share some rules that I follow for myself to keep me safe when I'm interacting with the police. Rule number one, limit your contact with the police. That means when you're driving, try your best to not make any traffic infractions. If you have a dispute at your home, try your damnness to not involve the cops. Because when the cops show up, they are probably going to take somebody to jail. Wherever they take the jail, the other person who got them put in jail will probably be the main one trying to collect money to bail that person out of jail. So you're taking money out of the family pot to bail someone out of jail and get lawyers when all y'all had to do is calm your nerves. Walk it off. If there's a family dispute Try your damnness to keep it in the family. If it gets out of control, it becomes physical. That's a different thing. But just petty arguments, heated arguments, try your damnness to keep the police out of your business because they may show up and shoot you. Try to limit your contact with the police. Number two. Always be calm and cool and collected, no matter what. You see, being hostile with the police is stupid and dangerous. If you become visibly angry, they may become angry or angrier. And they're the ones standing out there with the gun and the badge and the authority to take life. Now, you could take that gamble and say, well, you know, like, I feel like he was wrong and he just pissed me off. I'm tired of them messing with me. And I, you know, I remember, I believe his name was Eric Garner in New York who was selling the Lucy's. I remember him saying, I'm tired of y'all. It ends today. And they choked him out killed that man. He was dead to the right. They, they took the man's life. The thing about it though, although he was right, he tried to settle his grievance with the police on the streets instead of kicking back, falling back, and filing some paperwork or getting himself a lawyer resetting and you know taking it to the department you got to be very very careful and you got to be smarter than the average person it's not just about respect it's about staying alive number three which is really a continuation from the tail end of number two don't try to settle your case in the streets with the police you will lose Despite what you may have heard or uh, saw in a movie or a YouTube video, the police run the streets. If you feel that your rights have been violated, get out of that situation as soon as possible and lawyer up or file your grievance, do whatever you got to do. 
but get out of that situation first. Do not try to settle your case in the streets. Also, you may elect to remain silent or not consent to a search. If so, it's not going to make the police happy, but it might just make them hesitant about violating your rights. Number four, don't challenge their authority. Don't challenge their authority. Some people got that bad. They get so hot, man, they just, yeah, 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 yeah. Think about it when you've ever challenged the authority of people in your life, whether it was your teacher, your coach, your parents. How did it work out? That usually don't work out right, right? Think about your own kids when they try to challenge your authority. What happens? You know, I had a song that I wrote for the ghetto boys back in the day called The Secret. Well, I didn't write the whole song, but I, write, I wrote my verse. It's called The Secret. In my verse, I said, I'm yes, sir, no, sir, but when he pull off, he this, a motherfucking dick-sucking redneck son of a bitch. You see? When he pull off, he this, not just right there in his face, because guess what? Ain't nothing good is going to happen. Uh, nothing good is going to come from you being belligerent and confrontational with the police, becoming combative with the police. Nothing good is going to come from that. I know y'all seen some of these videos out there where sometimes it worked out for people, but why take the chance? Now, we all know you can comply and do all the things that I just mentioned and still find yourself in a bad situation with the police. But if you don't do many of the things that I just mentioned when engaged with the police, your chances of getting a ticket, being brutalized by the police, or even being murdered is going to be a whole lot greater. Remember, Stay cool, calm, and collected. And be respectful, even if they don't deserve it. The secret is to win. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.